All right, people, so welcome back to Breaking Dawn this morning. And as we return, we have set Wyo aboard with us. We're going to be talking about vitamins this morning. And we're going to also open the phone line and uh, give you the opportunity to call in. A little while ago, we had um, a message that I read from a lady with kidney stones. She in real pain. I told her, call set 7611952. The holistic clinic is there for you to reverse things like that rather than live off a medication or depend on a blaster. It's, the choice is all yours. Um, Seth is with us via Zoom. Seth, Hi, good morning, good morning. Seth, you know you do a whole segment on kidney stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, not everybody sees it, so I guess, I guess. Let me, let me tell you, before, before we even start, options. Seth, before we even start, let me just put this out here. Mm -hmm. People, Seth has this thing, right? That if he could reverse your disease, once he you reverse your disease, you'd rather, you'd rather go buy him again. <laughs> so, so therefore, therefore, there is nothing for you to spend out of your pocket again. It's not. It's this. The holistic health clinic is not something where he's going to keep you there as a patient for years and years and years and years and dependent on something. Is giving you the solution to your problem to reverse your problem so that you no longer have to go to a doctor and spend money on medication or even go to him. Right? So, That's just I, I just put in that out there for all, you know. You know, because we're going to talk about vitamins this morning. And, and said, interestingly enough, I, I, I decided to just Google vitamins. So, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just going to read out what somebody who Googles vitamins will see. So, sure. vitamins are a group of substances that are needed for normal cell function, growth, and development. There are 13 essential vitamins. This means that these vitamins are required for the body to work properly. Talk to us. All right. So, as you mentioned, the 13 there, let me just share my screen and pull up those 13. Okay. All right. Um, there were more, but over periods of time, um, you know, vitamins are something that if you look at the, the actual meaning of the name vitamins, it actually um, used to be called uh, vital amines. Meaning okay. that they were, yeah, A-M-I-N-E-S. All right. So they were believed to be organic compounds. Mm -hmm. Right. And they were all believed to be essential, meaning that without them, you know you would either get some sort of disease or, or illness right all right um so what happened was some of them they discovered the body can actually synthesize some so they were removed from the list because if you look at the bees there that you have seen mm -hmm. um, on the screen when you look at the bees you would notice that um they don't have all right yeah so because it have bees, one two right, three then it goes to five six seven and nine and then twelve yeah. So you're missing a few yes, inside you're of seeing that, that that's some missing and because they they realize the body can synthesize some of them like um for example um b4 is now just called choline all right so that is just called choline now it's not called a vitamin b okay right? um and that's also very important for life as well but it's no longer class of a, a vitamin b i think eventually vitamin d may may be removed because um, vitamin D now uh, might be classed later on, in, who knows, as a hormone instead of a, a, a vitamin, but it, it also is essential, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, but the, the history stemmed back from um, back in the early 1700s. Okay. Right? You know, people used to get sick when the sailors went out, all right? So actually, in um, 1753, you know, and sailors went out um, and they're spending all this long time out on the, the ocean and eating, I would say, uh, poor diets as they, you know, would just mm. take dried stuff and dried food and whatnot. And a lot of them suffered from scurvy, so that kind of piqued uh, doctors' interest back then as to why that was happening. So that's how they end up starting to look into these organic compounds. All right. Now, keep in mind, uh, when, when I use the term organic, uh, is not in the same manner in in which we use the term today uh, okay. with regards to organic foods and so forth because you know um today the word organic has been uh, once you're growing it without chemicals so that's not 
what it mean all right so you have organic and inorganic compounds and that has to do with uh with the hydrogen molecule all right um the, sorry the carbon molecule sorry all right um so once they have carbon uh, molecules uh it is classed as a compound and then you have the inorganic compound which we refer more to as minerals all right okay so um vitamins are essential and you have those 13 so you have the fat soluble and water soluble fat soluble mm. vitamins as you would see there which would be referring to to like the um the vitamin a right, right. So you see the vitamin the a the the vitamin um d e and k the k yeah all right um and the e all right so those can be stored in your fat so they have more of a long-term use while oh. you have the water soluble which can be more easily lost and you need to get in those more on a daily basis so you have a higher tendency to get in too much of the uh the fat soluble mm -hmm. though there uh, there's a high amount of deficiency of the fat soluble ones as well all right but the water soluble ones as you would see the vitamin b's and c all right mm. they you lose through your urine because they are water soluble so okay so that just passes right through the system stored, so it can pass through your system okay so it's important to get in your vitamins now having said that i have mentioned many times before that i am not an advocate for supplementation right i am not an advocate for supplementation in fact supplementation can usually lead to over consuming vitamins and that can become problematic if you get in too much mm -hmm. of certain things all right it can become very problematic to the health all right what i want to do over the next couple of weeks is go a little bit more into each vitamins because vitamins are expansive expansive when you go into them and you understand the properties and functions of them all right um some are well all vitamins without them would cause disease all of them right and many of them you would also see too and and it's not directly stated but a lot of diseases that are caused today if not all uh, are usually due to deficiencies right, right? not just vitamins alone but vitamins and mineral deficiencies and combination of deficiencies can also cause diseases as well right now something my, many people might do is just go and do a quick google search and say right let me look up foods with this vitamin or that vitamin and let me try to consume that and and that also can lead to errors as well because of the fact that you could now google something and then you see all right this has a lot of this particular vitamin in it and then you'll go on you might purchase that food source and start consuming that not understanding that there's another term that one need to understand which is bioavailability so not because something has it in it means that the human body can easily access it mm -hmm. and utilize it right right and that is something that many people confuse themselves with and then there are also sources of vitamins from foods that you would get the vitamin from it right that's easily absorbable but that food source also comes in with other things that can block other nutrients from your body ah okay right? so these are these are other issues now that one has to be aware of and many people would simply jump to the conclusion oh this have plenty of this vitamin in it let me let me utilize that right now, let's take for instance vitamin c ascorbic acid important you always say and you need a vitamin c and you need a vitamin c so you get a lot of vitamin c from plenty citrus roots yes so citrus but, and yeah they tell you to, to, to you know as much vitamin c as you could get so that you, you keep you, you keep the cold and, and things like that away and then we learned right. about vitamin d during the pandemic and how that important is um how um, important that is the immune system and that kind of thing yeah go ahead right right so with vitamin c now vitamin c yes you get it from citrus but you also get sugar from citrus as well 
and because of their similarity when it with regards to molecular structure the body chooses the sugar over the vitamin c so therefore the excess vitamin c now that the body does not use now has to be metabolized by the liver or be dealt with by the liver that causes the liver now to produce an indigenous form of oxalates right that indigenous form of oxalates now oxalates have an attraction to calcium and calcium have an attraction to oxalates mm. and what does that cause calcium oxalates now i brought that up because of the fact that calcium oxalates is what causes kidney stones oh. based on what the person that sent you the message earlier right mentioned so instead of you know many people are out here trying to let me go and get my stone blasted right instead of looking at root causes it is always better to look at cause instead of trying to trying find to a solution solution to problem. yeah prevention is always better than cause that, yeah right look at the root cause and avoid that pathway yeah right avoid that pathway and because you know people aren't so much inclined and many people have this belief that you know all fruits are safe you know much people come to me and when they look at uh, when i mention stuff like with fruits Say, oh, that is good sugar. And I'll be so, so where's the difference in good sugar and bad sugar? Right. Sugar well, I've always, I've, I've sugar. always wondered that you know, people say good cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Some people say natural sugar as opposed to, but you know, I don't know if it's natural sugar because I mean, sugar is sugar as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, right. So no, there are there are different categories of sugar: the monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Right, and those are things that you know you could get into and get a little more technical with. But simple sugars, it's simple sucrose is dangerous. In fact, sucrose have been shown, and in recent studies, I think up to 2023 or 2021, right, that that contributes and is a risk factor, a big risk factor, doubling your chances of getting issues like dementia. Right. Sucrose is the same sugar in fruits. You know, set time so rail flying, you know. From fruits. Time rail flying in nearly 8 o'clock. Yeah, but go ahead. Sugar. Right, because yeah. it's a natural sugar doesn't mean it's not going to damage you. You know, your body literally does not care if it's natural or artificial. Your body just look at the molecular structure of things. Right. Your body don't care. Your body not looking at labeling, whether it's made in China or, or made in, yeah. in, in, in Brazil or... Natural or, or unnatural. <laughs> Nobody doesn't at that. care about the brand. All yeah. it looks at is the material. Yeah. Right? And no. we need to get that out of our mindset. So right. that's what I do on my consultations. You know, I re-educate. You know how much people tell me after a consultation? They're like, wow, you know, I never looked at things in, in, in this way or from this angle. Sometimes just by asking a question differently. Right? Similar question, but you ask it in a different way. It changed your whole perspective on something. And because you see something now in a new light from a different angle, you're now going to be like, ah, all right? Yeah. And, and something, it makes totally, uh, it has a total different meaning now because you ask the question different. And we are custom asking questions the same way because this is how it always has been asked. Yeah. And then one person come along and asks it differently and then it changes the entire meaning of it. So when it comes to vitamins, we have to understand that you could get you can get in all the vitamins that you need from your dietary sources there is right. absolutely no need and i think more than one occasion i've shown scientific data and scientific studies on this program that scientific studies shows that the supplement and supplement industry is just pure marketing right nobody has any need to supplement now unless you have a severe ailment that you have to be hospitalized or, or something of the sort then under clinical guidance or whatnot supplement might be prescribed through intravenous means or, or or so forth but the general public out here going and they're buying all these vitamins and, and stuff and whatnot it's it's just all good marketing all good mm -hmm. marketing and many people are overdosing which can lead to the problems there's a list that came out with in, in 2018 or 17 showing a lot of these synthetic vitamins that are sold are known carcinogens right that many people don't know and are unaware of such okay well set we, we, we boy I, I wanted to take a couple cover we out of time 
Um, we already a little past eight. Yeah, boy. That time uh, we had about fourteen minutes on the time fast. Um, but but boy, we gotta work it. Up. We gotta work out how we can structure it so that um, you know we can take up. We can, we can at least comment it a little two three calls because I really would like to hear what the public has to ask you. What 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 you know? What questions they want to put yeah. before you? Um, so we gotta fine tune it. But um, well, I'll be address all, the little thing with um, the kidney stones there. Well, at least we help here. Yeah, uh, well, hopefully we help right. the lady with that um, to give her the root cause of the problem. But she needs to, um, you know, to that person. And that's just one of the root causes. Eh? There are others. There are others. So, so that was just one. Experience. But I got told her, say, listen, don't depend on a blaster. Go to the hospital. You can't afford to do it privately. Die fifty thousand dollars. You go to the hospital. The blaster ain't working. What are you gonna do? Sit down with the pain. Try a different option. Mm -hmm. And this is my thing to people: try a different option. If healthcare is failing you. Do not allow yourself to be failed by the healthcare system. There are other options there. There are there is a different approach. That that there are different approaches to all sorts of of, 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 of different issues, um, all over the place. So try something different. Yeah. And, and um, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, our health is our responsibility. We might want to blame the healthcare system, you know, but the reality is it is your body it is you you are responsible for your health we could blame the healthcare system from now till thy kingdom come yeah you're, you're still sick you know you're and still exactly sick, right because so we have to do something you we, know? we we, we got to take care of ourselves um you know but we, i mean if they say the body's the temple we are we are taking care of the temple all right um it's like it, it's like taking care of anything else you know even my building is like maintenance you know we have to make sure that 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 you know what we put in is not gonna contaminate the the, 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 the the space if you understand what i'm saying so that's that's what we got to do um so to, to the person with the kidney problem i hope we help you out there but we got to wrap up for today set i want to thank you for joining us and um next week you see if we can take those calls but right? all right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah man, no problem all right people all right, uh, thanks, and man. no problem and like set said he's going to go through a little series here on vitamins so for those of you who are interested in that topic and you want to learn more of course, you will get that here on Breaking On every Tuesday.